Okay, here's something that's kind of significant. Um, one of the things I've wanted to do ever since I got my 3D printer was build a Stirling engine in the CAD design and then print it out on the printer and make a Stirling engine. But the problem is the PLA melts at a really low temperature. I haven't had much luck with ABS, so that kind of stopped me on the Stirling engine, unless you build one that runs on cold. Well, this here is this um, TIG generator uh, chip module, tile, whatever you want to call it, running on ice water and then ambient air temperature. You see the temperature there is 90, uh, 79 degrees Fahrenheit against the um, ice water. And that's what's going on there. And that's the uh, LED from the back spike of that coil. Now this is what it sounds like on the radio here. But um, this is something that um, I may go back one step and try to design this whole thing as a unit in CAD design and then try to print out a um, motor that runs on ice and ambient air temperature differentiated in such a way that you could make a, a cold powered motor that ran on cold and this is something that's bothered me for a long time is uh, we're burning stuff. We're burning wood, we're burning oil, gas, whatever, to make stuff go around. And I've always thought, well, why don't we use cold? Differential between really, really cold and cold. And it's the delta between the cold temperatures, which you can get if you're smart about where you can get the differential of 20, 30 degrees between cold temperatures. And you could make something run on the delta of cold rather than having to burn something. So anyway, this was a proof of concept on how you can take that temperature, differentiate it with 32 degrees. So what is that, 30, 40 degree diff delta, whatever that is. And that doesn't have to be at room temperature. You could go down into the lower, lower temperatures as long as it's in the parameters of where that TIG uh, generator, thermoelectric generator operates. And it'll produce the voltage, electricity, based on the delta of wherever you've got that up and down the scale. So anyway, that's proof of concept that you can get a motor to run on a differential of cold, not fire. Thanks for watching.